Sara Takanashi, Japanese ski jumper, apologized on mid to Big Suit to disqualification controversy. Sara Takanashi react during the mixed team final round at Zhang Ji Aku National Ski Jumping Center. CNN Japanese ski jumper Sara Takanashi has issued an emotional apology after she was disqualified for violating suit regulation at Beijing 2022. Takanashi was one of five women ski jumpers disqualified. Disqualified for violating the guidelines on the suit they, they wore while competing in the mixed team ski jumping final on Monday. Austria's Danilia Ilasciko Stolz, Katarina Altuaus of Germany, Nor Norwegian duo Anna Odine Stro. Stroem and Silde Opset, as well as Takanashi, were the jumpers penalized. The used suit that led to the disqualifications were too big and offers an aerodynamic advantage to the athletes, said in the International Ski Federation in the statement sent to CNN. The 25-year-old Takanashi had recorded a jump, huge jump of 103 meters to give Japan a prom promising start as the mixed event debuted at the Beijing Games. I'm very sorry that the chances of winning a medal has been taken away from the Japanese team, said Takanashi in a heartfelt message on Instagram. It is an undeniable fact that my disqualification changed everyone's lives. Even if I apologize, the medal will not be returned. According to FIS guidelines, an athlete may only take part in a FIS competition with the equipment which com conformed to the FIS regulations. The equipment is checked during a competition on a random basis. If it does not meet the re requirements, it results in the disqualification of the athletes. An athlete is responsible for the equipment he used. Takanashi was disqualified as her suit was 2 cm wider than permitted around her thighs, according to Reuters. Takanashi reacted after her jump during the ski jumping mixed team final at 2022 Winter Olympics. No official protest by a team. Japan just missed out on the medal, fin finishing fourth at Zhang Jiaku National Ski Jumping Center. Slovenia won gold while the Russian Olympics Committee claimed silver and Canada secured bronze, while Taknashi apologized. Ger Germany's Taos, who won a silver medal in the individual event, was more critical of her disqualification. We were looking forward to the second women's competition at the Olympics. FIS destroyed that with this action. They destroyed the women's ski jumping. Taos told the Reuters, I have been checked so many times in 11 years of ski jumping and I have never been disqualified once. I know my suit was compliant. In the statement sent to CNN, the FIS said that all nations were checked during competition and then, in order to guarantee fairness and equal opportunities during the Olympic Games, the controls during the Olympic competitions were very precise and are carried out by two controllers, or usually one person. During these controls, five athletes were disqualified for using suits that did not comply with the rules, he said. The suits used were produced exclusively for the Olympic Games and were therefore not previously tested by the FISEC. A test of the suit had been offered by the FIS competition management to all teams before the competitions. Only a week, only a few teams took this opportunity. For example, Danilera Halalambi 
from Romania. There was no official protest by the team against any of the disqualifications. Japan's National Olympic Committee did not immediately respond to CNN's request for comment.